This is a true story about Lewis Hutchinson. He is recorded as Jamaica's first serial killer. Is known as Mad Master, is also known as the Mad Doctor of Edinburgh Castle. Now, Lewis Hutchinson was born in Scotland. He was born in 1733. Edinburgh Castle is located in Jamaica. It's here in St. Anne's, Jamaica. So he's not a native of Jamaica. He moved here because it's alleged that he liked Jamaica. He was embracing the idea of becoming a slave owner in Jamaica and he was looking at different properties to buy in Jamaica. As many persons would come from Scotland, England, buy estates here in Jamaica, um, bought slaves and they would become wealthy in no time. So by no doubt, this was Hutchinson's plan. So in 1760s, that's in the 1760s, Lewis Hutchinson arrived in Jamaica. It's alleged that he legally bought and obtained the Edinburgh estate. Um, no one knows how true that is because he is quite evil, he's wicked, and he's crazy. Shortly after Hutchinson's arrival in Jamaica, he owned estate, he owned slave, he had cattle, he had farm, and he had friends. Even though he was evil, he had friends who were just as evil as he was. So, being the kind of person that Lewis is, and based on the area where Edinburgh Castle was located, it was the only populated area on the way coming from St. Anne's Bay. And that's St. Anne's Bay here in Kingston, Jamaica. It is reported that Lewis Hutchinson, he had a hole on his estate that's a ground, a pit, it, it was attached to his castle. He would often murder his victims, drain, drinks their blood, then demands a slave to dump the bodies of his victims in this hole or at cotton trees or at various designated areas. He would just give them the task of disposing of these bodies. The slaves there did not object because Lewis, he used to treat his slave horribly. He would beat them and he would torture them. It would also leave him hungry at times. After a time, the disappearance of locals and foreigners who stopped at the Edinburgh estate became noticeable and persons were just fearful because persons would often set out on their journey they would be traveling with friends and their friends stopped at the edinburgh castle but never to be seen again since then it is said that Hutchinson would often invite tired hungry guests into his house and these tired hungry guests would be travelers Persons who are wealthy, wealthy, persons who are poor, persons who are white, persons who are black, it didn't matter because Hutchinson had a plan. And his plan wasn't to feed them or give them a place to rest. It was beneath that. But Hutchinson, he was really good with words. So he would persuade the travelers to stop by and he would often invite persons to his house, prepare fancy meals, fancy dinner. They would sit and talk, and it's alleged that he would often either poison them, cut their throats, drain their blood, and drink it. So everyone became fearful of Edinburgh Castle 
No one would never, ever dare go near Edinburgh Castle because it is said that once you go near Edinburgh Castle, that's the last time you will ever be seen again. Hutchinson became wary because persons were just staying away. Persons were just avoiding the area. And for those who dare to travel that area, they would ensure that it's the midday and they would hurry past his estate. Dare not to look by, dare not to stop by, and they would just be pleasant with a pleasant smile on their face, even though inside they're deeply afraid. So because killing was a sport and it was a thrill for Hutchinson, he became bored because after a while, everyone was just distancing themselves. However, there was this man who decided that he's gonna stop by under a tree. What harm could that do? Hutchinson immediately demanded the stranger to step away from his property. The gentleman complied. Before you knew it, Hutchinson picked up his gun, gave the gentleman one bullet to the head, he died on the spot, and he demanded slaves to bury his body, just with all other cases. Everyone in the area became so fearful of Hutchinson that they just allowed him about his way. However, there was quite a few witnesses to one of Lewis's to one of Lewis's murder, and the citizens thought that this is way out of control. If we continue to allow this mad doctor, we could be next. Let's go and report it to the English Navy, which they did. So, the English Navy, they went to accost Lewis Hutchinson. Unfortunately, he shot and killed one of the English Navy named John Callender after they tried to arrest him. Lewis Hutchinson then made his way to escape. So now he's trying to get back home to Scotland because he realized that the local authorities here in Jamaica, they are now fed up, they're now tired of him. And he knows that once he's caught, there's no escape for him. So he fled his way to Old Harbour Bay where he was trying to board a vessel to get back to Scotland. However, when he went there, when Lewis went to board the ship back home, the captain of the vessel, along with the Royal Navy and Admiral Rodney, who was the commander of the Royal Navy, they apprehended Lewis Hutchinson and he was arrested. Lewis Hutchinson, the mad doctor, he was found guilty of 46 different cases of murders. And those are the 46 that they were sure that he committed. When, the, when they searched his property, they found over 45 watches. They found clothing and other personal belonging to persons who were, of persons who were reported missing. So they could only held him, hold him accountable for 46 murders. It was more based on what they're suspecting, but that was just the exact amount that they could account for. So Lewis Hutchinson, he was hanged on March 16th of, in 1773 in Spanish Town Square. So this man from Scotland became the first recorded serial killer and most prolific serial killer in Jamaica's history. Today, Edinburgh Castle Estate, it's a national heritage site. We have tourists that visit the area. They will take videos to take back to their different countries, especially persons from his country, from Scotland. They would come, they would make videos, they would do documentaries. You can search here on YouTube for different videos. You can search 
on other websites and you'll see images of the estate and in this video all the images that you're seeing in this video they're from Edinburgh Castle so I just hope you guys like this video give me a thumbs up let me know if you like other videos like this please share comment subscribe thanks so much for watching guys stay safe see you soon bye